there has been change. The real question is, is it enough to ensure we won't experience more of such crises? And looking at the record of the last 30 years and the amount of debt in our economies, which is incredibly large still in the developed world and has now risen a lot in China too, I think it'd be very optimistic to think that such crises will not or could not recur. When do you think this will happen? The vulnerabilities are in every economy that has a large uh, uh, amount of leverage inside it, a lot of debt inside it. Uh, there's a lot of optimism about some market processes uh, which people believe will lead to a ne never ending uh, rises in prosperity. Uh, so uh, that's what you're going to have to look at and it's going to be a big economy. So it would likely be either in a large emerging economy like China um, or a return at some point, probably not very soon in the developed world, possibly in the US. My guess it would be that it's certainly not going to be before some time in the, in the 2020s. But if it were at that time, we would find it very difficult to handle it as well as we have this one because our underlying debt position will be so poor. You're proposing very radical reforms to the banking system. The one actually which is the, the most likely, uh, though I don't think it's going to happen, is to have substantially less leverage in the banking sector. So instead of, as we're now discussing, having an overall leverage ratio of 25 to 1, which is what they're proposing now, so there's equity capital of at least 4% of the balance sheet, which is really very little, that it, that it should instead be about 10 to 1. And my second suggestion, which is uh, what's sometimes called 100% reserve banking. So banking deposits are backed, bank deposits are backed fully by central bank money. You have very influential friends in high places, such as the world's central bankers. Do they listen to your recommendations? Uh, they vary. I mean, some are very happy with what they're doing now. Some are quite attracted, including previous central banks, but by more radical steps, some kind I mentioned. And I've had these discussions and they vary. And partly they de it depends on how confident they are that the present regulations will actually work. Uh, some are much more confident than others. So people are really, uh, really